Hello there, I'm Amy Jane. In this, the fourth video of the watercolor series, we're going to talk about our setup for our still life. We're gonna paint fruit. And it's important that you get yourself set up for success, for success, for success. So this is going to be just a supplementary video to discuss this setup. It's important to have a single light source. So one of the best tools for this is get yourself a box. Any box, not too big, not too small. And it's going to help to shade your fruit, whatever you're painting, from the all the outside lights from around that are gonna be casting different kinds of shadows. We want just one light source. It's actually pretty important so that you can see how the form and how the light works on the form, which is our piece of fruit that we'll be painting. So the next thing is the single light source. So do you have a desk lamp? Just a little desk lamp, something you might have laying around. If not, you can get one for very inexpensive. If for whatever reason you can't get a hold of a desk lamp, it's okay, use a window. Set yourself up next to a window. The light, sunlight coming in from a window can make a really good light source too. It really is important. It's all about the light and how it effects or how it impacts the object. I want to recommend to you to go back to my Drawing 101 series to lesson number two. It, it would be a great review for you. It will really help you with all the parts of the form and how light plays with it. Give it a, give it a watch, give it a little review and get your drawing pencil out again. Do some practice and you'll be ready to introduce color. So when I see you next time, box, lamp, piece of fruit, Little review of lesson number two from drawing and all of our watercolor setup. Am I forgetting anything? I don't think so. The very first video in this series talked all about the materials that you're going to need, but I wanted to add a little extra just for fun. We're going to use it later on, but I would like you to acquire a permanent ink pen. They come in various different sizes, millimeter, which would be the tip. Some of them, are bigger than others. Some of them are very fine. You can get different sizes or just one, but the pigment, the permanent pigment ink is important because we can use water over the top of it and it doesn't smudge or smear. The ink won't bleed and run. It'll be really fun for creating some really nice drawings and effects. Something just to put on your list to have a little bit of fun later on. So good luck with your box, fruit, and light source and keep on experimenting. You get your pigment ink, you can draw some little cartoons and just color them in, but practice mixing up colors. Don't just use them straight off of the palette. By doing all that exercising and playing around, you're setting yourself up to make something that looks realistic. It's gonna help us to know our paints. And stand by for another video. It's gonna be great. Ooh, ah. <laughs> going to be artists after all. <laughs> you will be whatever artist you wanna be. These are just foundations. These are just building blocks. You'll use a visual voice to say something to the world. It's very exciting. I look forward to it.